All right, welcome back, you guys. Hey, have you ever had maybe indigestion? shortness of breath, perhaps you just felt lousy and you couldn't really pinpoint why. Well, these could all be signs of a simple illness or could be something much worse. These are some of the possible symptoms of a silent heart attack. I've got Dr. Brad Jones here with Baylor Scott and White. Uh, all right, what is a silent heart attack? Well, basically it doesn't have the classic symptoms that we think of. You know, the classic symptoms we think of is a man usually yep. with a crushing squeezing pain on his left side of his chest. They describe an elephant as sitting on the chest. That's the mm. classic. But that only happens half time or less. Oh, really? Less? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then what are some of these symptoms that might creep in? They can be very different. Like, for example, uh, indigestion. I feel heartburn. Hmm. If you, the 1900 Texas Almanac listed that leading cause of death in Texas is indigestion. Wow. So I feel heartburn or indigestion. So it, pain sort of in the chest or like upper abdomen? Top of what yeah. you think of your stomach. That okay. could be it. Um, you can feel just faint all of a sudden you feel really tired you can feel really short of breath okay you just all of a sudden like I just can't catch my breath I'm just exhausted or rapid my heart's racing it's, it's running fast we've got nausea on this list nausea, and I've also heard yeah. women say that they've complained of symptoms like pain in the back pain which in the you back. think gosh back pain a lot of people have back pain so how can you distinguish between just a regular pain and something it, like it's difficult this? I mean sometimes it's very difficult sometimes you have to go to the doctor and get blood tests done I mean there are cases in my office where a guy had a quote muscle pull on his right side and thought it was just muscle pull I'm like well let's just be sure turned out he was having a heart attack in your office in my office and I, I said go to the, he's like we're going to the emergency room. he thought <laughs> I was kidney I'm, like, I'm, I'm like take let's go now uh, you think I'm kidding I'm not kidding let's go to the hospital yeah and, and we had to go to the hospital for it so it can be very vague you can feel kind of dizzy or, or not thinking clearly because yeah. you're not getting a blood flow. Yeah. Right. So it all has to do with blood flow. So when the when you have a heart attack, just two second background, it's the blood flow to the heart muscle mm -hmm. is actually blocked. Mm. So it's kind of like that muscle all of a sudden doesn't have a good blood flow. If I put a tourniquet on your leg, your leg's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden you're not getting blood flow to the muscle of the heart. So it doesn't beat good. So you don't yeah. get good blood flow. If you don't get good blood flow to your uh, intestines and your stomach, you feel nauseated or indigestion. So then what do you do? What I mean... <laughs> There's a lot of different ways, right? But but someone has a heart attack, then what do you do? Well, first thing is you get to the hospital, yeah. make sure it is a heart attack, and you know we do blood thinners, things like aspirin, okay. and if, get a cardiologist involved and possibly do a, and open up the artery with a stent. Okay. The whole key of a heart attack is reopen the artery, uh -huh. get the blood flowing. And that's you know. usually when you grow up, go up through the groin. Do with the groin, okay. and they, they go in there and open it. But it's all about blood flow. So let's talk about who's most at risk when it comes to this. <laughs> right. So it's really good. Who has mostly silent heart attacks? Two categories okay. are the most at risk: diabetics mm. and women. Mm. And and most women of my patients who have had heart attacks never, none of them had the classic crushing. They all had. I feel sick to my stomach. That was the most common one. Okay. So sick to my stomach. Diabetics are, in general, don't feel pain the same way as other because of the nerve damage from the diabetes. Yeah. How long do you have between some of those symptoms and then? It kind of depends on which artery it is and how oh. bad it is. But, you know, sometimes you only have a, you know, a few minutes. Sometimes you have hours. Some people had them and didn't know it. Right. Wow. Some, a lot of the silent heart attacks we found out where people had a massive heart attack where they actually, you know, had all the symptoms yeah. and had to go to the hospital and they find out, you know what, you had one previously we see wow. the scar tissue yeah and had, they had no idea they had no idea so quickly let's point out there are ways to prevent getting to this point right so the risk factors for heart attacks how do you not have a heart attack was what we want to do control your blood pressure yeah control your cholesterol mm -hmm. okay that's very important mm -hmm. don't smoke no nicotine that includes vaping yeah no nicotine uh, control your blood pressure control your weight exercise heart healthy diet all the things that I talk about all the exactly, time Exactly right okay I've got the doctor's seal of approval here thank you dr. Thank Jones you. appreciate Thanks, it that's Thank great you. information